Hey guys, welcome back to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I'm Mr. Viper Fang, and last time, as Sonic, we completed Hydra City Zone. And we're gonna have a fun old time with Marble Garden Zone. Okay, well, we're not going that way then. We're taking the lower path, which is, in my opinion, not as fun, because there's obstacles and, oh my god, it's so terrible. Also, it's gonna be a little while before I actually get to a special stage ring. Because there was actually one, uh, back there on the path that I failed to take. So, yeah, this is gonna be a little exciting. I may have to wait until, uh, Act 2 to get to a ring that I actually remember. But, I'm pretty sure during this episode we will be getting the last emerald. And after that, I will be able to show you just how fast this game can really go. Ow! Dang, that spike! Although luckily in Sonic 3, and especially in Sonic 2, Invincibility frames actually, uh, actually endure through spikes, unlike in Sonic 1, where the spikes just outright ignore the invincibility frames, and you can just get juggled by them and die. That may be one of the reasons why I don't really like Sonic 1 all that much. Although, eh... Ah, oh, shoot. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to do something else. Well, there are definitely alternate paths I can take. Hey, it's a lightning shield. I need this. Thank you. Thank you for the continue. Ugh. I really wish I could remember where more of the special stage rings are in this act. Or more specific more specifically in the zone and the rest of the game for that matter and that can go fuck itself I'm just gonna continue this way nice all right there's a little bit of a there's a invincibility frames on that thing after you hit it. Oh, wait! Wait! Is this, uh... Is this it? Yes! Haha! -ha! We may not have to wait until Act 2. Alright, I will see you guys at the end of this one. That one can get very hectic if you let the speed go on for too long. So it's important to remember which blue spheres you have gotten and which ones you still need to get to minimize the amount of time you take on that one. And now we can be supersonic because that that's how that's how it's been since Sonic 2. I just need 50 rings, and I cannot have a shield on at all in order to change into supersonic. Because, for some strange reason, the benefits of the sh uh, secondary benefits of the shields outweigh the ability to change into supersonic. I don't know. Alright. Uh, no, I'm not gonna worry about that one. Uh, good. Aha! 
However, I will be taking a lightning shield just to get rings easier. Alright, coming up to a... Nope. I have enough rings! Okay, time to lose this shield. Oh, even better. Ha-ha! The nice thing about changing into supersonic in this game is it doesn't automatically happen when you're in mid-air. You can, uh, in order to change into supersonic, you just have to be in mid-air and then hit the jump button. Also, changing into supersonic, uh, you can't change it to supersonic, uh, during this little sequence. Because apparently they, uh, I guess the creators found out that you can actually softlock your game if he's on screen when you change into supersonic at the end of an act. Yeah, that was act that was an actual thing that happened with the, uh, with, uh, Sonic 2. And it kind of sucked, because there was no level select in that game. Alright. Really? Okay. I will accept having no... shield for this section. Alright, I want to go really fast through this section. Because I lose my ability to break that if I'm not going fast and the section just goes down. I have no idea if that made sense or not. Probably not. Anything here? Oh yeah, another path. Okay. Extra life, thank you. And I'm down in the section that I would have taken anyway if I hadn't broken through that initial wall. Oh well. I want to go up! Thank you. Oh, and here's a good place to start showing off the bonus stages. Depending on how many rings you have when you hit one of those checkpoints starting at 20 rings, you'll get one of three different bonus stages, and they alternate every 15 rings. When you get 20 to 34, you get a you get slots when you get to when you get from 35 when you get 35 to 49 you get this special stage which is magnetic orbs and the ability to get a lot more rings than any of the other bonus stages just outright and the third is the gumball uh, bonus stage from Sonic 3 they just uh, put them all into one in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yeah, they just decide to add the add it to the rotation. Alright. Lose that. And turn into Supersonic. Unfortunately, precision jumping is extremely hard when you're Supersonic. Also, you do not get the slowdown that you do when you're uh spin super spin dashing that you would in Sonic 2, and I think they, it was kept in in Sonic 3. I want 50 rings. Oh yeah, after you collect all the emeralds, you all the uh, special stage rings just give you enough rings to change into Super Sonic at this point. Alright. Boom! Made it, made it through. When you're supersonic, you jump a hell of a lot higher than you would normally. Unfortunately, that does not work if you are super knuckles, because, well, screw him, I guess. I guess being able to glide and climb kind of make up for that. I don't know. Uh, I still have to wait for platforming sections because, well, I guess that's how it works normally. Two, three, get me in. Oh wait, haha! I don't need to. I don't need to hit that uh face. 
As Supersonic, you automatically break certain blocks uh, that you would have to spin dash into in order to get through. Knuckles can just get through those easily, I guess. Probably because of the knuckles on... because of the uh, spikes on his uh, gloves. And this little area right here is another example of where it splits off if you're playing as Knuckles. Because in that little uh, outdoor area above us, you would have to climb up in order to get through the area. Because Knuckles can't really jump high enough to get to that uh, face that we got before encountering Robotnik there. Okay. Checkpoint! Alright, I've got plenty of rings to do this. Now, normally, you could just uh, wait to attack him when he's up uh, in the air. But, if you get enough hits on him before the whole thing collapses, You'll just need to attack him once. Just like that. Also, using Tails, uh, using Tails is kind of, uh, odd here. Also, this fight is very difficult if you're just Tails by himself. Anyway, later guys.